Hi guys, welcome to Jazz Tech and today we are, to, we are going to unbox a networking solution that is a Wi-Fi router it's from TP-Link Archer C20 it's a 12 band router and you can see as from here 12 band 2.4 and 5 GHz 2 speeds 300 Mbps and 433 Mbps 300 Mbps it is for 2.4 GHz and 433 is for 5 GHz other features here the box contains written dual AC and 50 dual wireless router RJ45 Ethernet cable power adapter resource CD insulation physical specification standard security etc price another one is related sticker so let's unbox this so guys sorry guys I can't find my cutter so I am going to use my screwdriver which I fell now which is here so I can unbox using this screwdriver it's a nice unboxing material or something like this you can see other TP link dual band products Archer C9, C7, C2 and C20 Here we have the contents in an eggshell type structure or the dome. Here is the resource CD, technical support, quick installation guide, general public license notice, and obviously a router. Here is the Ethernet cable, very short Ethernet cable for connecting and setting up your Wi Fi and the power adapter we, we will show you uh, installation uh, actually uh, how to set up your Wi-Fi using this router as a medium we will show you so let's before reading I will obviously show you the ports that are available in this router so here it is the router and the ports are a ethernet cable 4 ethernets a internet cable actually WFSDA WPS reset wireless on off USB plug for cloud printing and and our data storage that is server power on off and power input and here is a very cool looking Wi-Fi route here are the indicators and obviously this has a glossy disc glossy pattern and display which will get dirty after if you remove your this protective covering thank you so we move on to the configuration of our wi-fi router we have connected our wi-fi router via ethernet to our pc we know the values so let's point out for you guys so to help you how to set up a wi-fi go to start search cmd will be from a command prompt from that write ip config you will get the values of your broadband connection i don't have, currently you can see from here wireless line adapter i am giving an example 192.168 you will get something like that and you can obviously use ip config slash all to get all the values that is ip address dns gateway and others wait I will like this I may be wrong yeah this one see from here you are getting IP address subnet mask default gateway and DNS servers you require these things which I have already stored for my broadband connection which are here and uh, this is my Intel's internet connect sorry MAC address so connect this no internet so let's move the configuration I'm disconnecting my existing Wi-Fi type here TP link you can see here for your MAC address see here 
you're getting your SSID or two broadband to two wireless networks your password if you are using Ethernet you will not don't require any password you just require this username and password use default access TP link Wi-Fi dot net or follow your instruction for your specific router for this router we have one 192.168.0.1 so name admin password admin it's by default for every Wi-Fi router so here you have our status model number MAC address, IP address, subnet mask uh, this is since it is a 12 band router here wireless 2.4, wireless 5 viewers WAN this is actually the data we need so we need this is almost more or less the same for every companies it's uh, I had a previously I had a IEVL button which is currently using which has just exactly this my connection is a static IP. I am gonna need static IP. It's asking for a WAN connection. So, guys, I'm doing something to provide some WAN connection, then we will continue. So, we have connected a wire from our old Wi Fi router to our new Wi Fi router just to provide you how to set up your router using static IP. In this case, it has already recognized that it is a dynamic IP, that's why it's a zone setting. We are gonna do quick setup, but it will show you how to do dynamic IP. IP. So, we will go for WAN, change connection to static IP, and now we will put the values. We have let's see the status. Yes, we have changed our status from dynamic static IP. Now let's go to wireless settings. We'll change here to India. You can just save it. You can change your name. Uh, jazz. Sorry for the interference. Move on to the wireless 5 gigahertz. You can name it Jazz Tech and the 5 gigahertz. India safe. Let's see if changes do occur. Yes, you can see we have a 2.4 gigahertz named as just to get 2.4 gigahertz and this is the wi-fi settings and other things there are many settings like pscp control usb settings parental control bandwidth control and some uh, in system tools you can change your time zone get time on pc save firmware upgrade diagnostics factory defaults reboot password you can change your own username password etc system logs statistics and obviously logout from quick setup here is our name so we have changed our names this is our LAN receiving LAN IP address subnet password wireless 2.4 just take at 2.4 gigahertz wireless 5 just take at 5 gigahertz so guys this is our our Wi-Fi setup using our new Wi-Fi router that is TP-Link Archer C20 Hope that I hope that you like the video. So dislike the video, and if you dislike the video, dislike the video, and comment if you have if you want something to know about configuration of a Wi-Fi router, and do subscribe to the channel for more videos.